Michigan's team hopes to win the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, an 1,800-mile race across Australia. And they're counting on a big assist from IBM Research's solar forecasting technology. So I first learned about um, IBM's solar forecasting project about a year ago um, after we won the American Solar Challenge. Um, and you know, I saw the project um, online, I actually saw it on an article on Reddit, um, and thought it, you know, it could be something that our team could really use to our advantage. Yeah, the University of Michigan um, emailed me one day about um, how it would be to collaborate with them on uh, forecasting for the solar car race. And I, I immediately thought, hey, that is a fascinating project. So predicting um, solar radiation plays a huge part in solar car racing. There's a couple different ways we can use it to our advantage. Um, number one is knowing the long-term forecast. So knowing whether or not a certain day will be cloudy or not can save up to 50 minutes of race time. You can also use it very short term. Um, where IBM is helping us with the cloud camera system. There's a thing called cloud chasing in solar racing, and that's avoiding clouds and, and really chasing after the sun. Um, in the past, the way we would do that is we'd you know, pop our heads out of the vehicle, see where a cloud is. If there's a cloud above us, we would tell the driver to drive faster um, and then you know, avoid the clouds. Um, but this year, we're actually doing something different. We're partnering with IBM. We've got a new process using cameras that actually capture clouds um, and measure the speed and the velocity and the magnitude and the direction of these clouds so we can more precisely tell um, where the cloud is, where it's going, and whether or not we should speed up. We started this solar forecasting project with the aim of helping the energy and utility industry integrate ever larger amounts of renewable energy into the grid. With the solar racing project, we aim to continue to develop the technology and learn all sorts of new techniques that can help us improve this forecasting accuracy. We envision that this will have a major impact not only in the energy and utility industry, but in every other industry that is susceptible to the impact in weather, in operations, and how they conduct their businesses. So being a part of the solar car team uh, is great for a couple of different reasons. Um, first for me um, is that we're working with a ton of new technology. Um, it's revolutionary you know, in energy industry and also in transportation, stuff that could be the future of both of these industries. And it's really cool that you know, we get to work on them um, and work on making them you know, something that might be something that everyone would use. Um, on the other hand, um, it's also great to compete in such you know, a competitive environment um, and you know, compete to be the best in the world at something. The solar car project isn't just about helping a group of extraordinarily bright students win a race. That's very important to us too. But ultimately, it's a commitment of IBM to develop technologies that can help individuals and organizations make better decisions, leading to running a business in a way that can transform industries.